hello everyone welcome to bpo interview tutorials uh, and today's topic is related to uh, lean management that is muda muri and mura before moving to the video i would like to tell everyone to please share subscribe and uh, like the videos also click on bell icon so that you may get the notification related to all my upcoming videos let's move to the topic and that is our lean management topic that is three which is known as muda muri and mura so this uh, diagram itself explain the entire thing what is the meaning of this particular terms but we will go with the theoretical part first and we will see what kind of questions hr actually ask in the interview guys this is a very important topic so please listen it carefully reason behind that is uh, hr used to ask such questions frequently in the interviews maybe the hr maybe quality manager even in the operations also you will get such kind of questions if you are going for the interviews they will directly ask you what do you understand by 3m 3m means muda muri mura what do you understand by muda what do you understand by muri okay how this will help in the lean management so you will getting you will be getting a many questions related to it so let's start the topic uh, 3m which is muda muri mura so basically this was again introduced in the uh, toyota uh, management system production system wherein they want to eliminate three enemies from the production guys so these are the enemies guys actually what kind of enemies they are muda which means complete waste muri which means overburden overburden and mura which means unevenness we will explain it one by one uh, to you guys so that you will get the clear understanding and this will impact this will be in the industrial areas this will be in the uh, bpo companies this will be in the it companies wherever you will go you will find this kind of uh, enemies there guys so let's start the first one which is muda muda which means complete waste so guys uh, at, as per the toyota production system they have uh, like came up with the seven type of waste guys that is known as stem wood t stand for transport i for inventory m for motion in this way waiting overloading or processing and defect so and we are not telling like uh, so this seven type of waste will be available at every time so it depends actually depends on work depends on process production industry company so it depends on that and you will be finding your appropriate weight waste and which need to be eliminated transport which means unnecessary transportation of the goods inventory uh, like filling the inventory with the uh, over processing over processing or else over production of the goods motion moving product from here to this unnecessary uh, here to there unnecessarily uh, without getting the orders waiting waiting for the long time for those product which has been manufactured already overloading loading it overloadly over processing already explained you guys if we do over processing uh, which is nowhere required for that particular instance then it will be considered under as waste defect obviously if you are getting a defect that will be a waste so there are seven type of waste please do remember you may also get such question what do you understand by tim wood so next we will move to the second topic that is uh, mura mura which means unevenness or else irregularity what is the meaning of unevenness we will directly jump to the example guys you can see the uh, photo let's consider this is an this is in uh, bpo company wherein the employees are working the first employee is happy and the second employee is not happy here reason behind that is the first employee had a good process knowledge and he got a very good training but the another processor did not got the proper training which means here for this particular team in the bpo company they don't have a, a proper governance to all the associate due to that the one is happy and another is not happy and due to that we are getting defects to our particular process same goes with the, in the industrial companies also where in the first employees working very nicely and other employees not working good due to the proper knowledge due to the governance due to the proper guidelines many many things will be there so that is known as unevenness or else irregularity you can see the line like it happens when the governing system is weak or else no guidelines was properly provided so guys uh, make sure this mura which means unevenness or irregularity i also give you the example of the bpo how this will impact to the employees and how this will impact to the process so always need to maintain a proper supply chain guys every employee should be considered as a equal level they should get a proper training they should be uh, aware with all the concepts so that a process will move smoothly this is 
the last one is muri so muri guys which means overburden so again i will go with the example of bpo company so there are total 15 employees in one particular team and one employee is there who is getting extra loaded apart from his 100% capacity so what will happen at the end definitely the willingness of the job for that particular associate will go he will not able to do his work properly sometimes uh, he may also resign from his job so many many things will come if we increase the burden on one single employee rather than dividing that particular work to all the 15 employees so that is known as overburdening you can see the example which will clearly explain you that overburdening should not be there all the work should be equally divided between all the employees all the workers if you are working in the industrial company so because this will this will uh, help you phys- uh, mentally to the employees who are facing overburden while working so their safety is prior guys so that uh, we will be getting a good result so this is all about mura muri and muda and it's very easy let's see uh, example uh, you can consider this as an f- uh, example guys so you can see this three photo will explain you each and everything very clearly see the first what we have discussed muda see how many wastes was there completely all the things are getting wasted second we have learned about the mura unevenness unevenness means see there is no any stabilization the first bucket is uh, at the up and the second bucket where the water is getting fall down so here is unevenness no proper guidelines was given to this particular guy how to carry the things last one overburden clearly explain the heavy loader given to one particular employee that is the reason this is the third one which is a muri so that is the reason like uh, lean management introduce this three concept wherein they want to remove these three types of enemies and this will help in all the industrial areas this will also help in bpo companies id companies wherever you go so i believe you guys got the clear understanding related to this three ms and i will be getting sure i will give your acknowledgement over the feedback guys that you have learned something new today and you got the proper information from my side and i will be the hap- i will be happy if i'm getting such comments from your side so please do share subscribe the channel please share this video with your friends who are looking for the job help them so that they can crack the interviews thanks a lot guys thanks for watching at the end you can also uh, see a facebook page wherein uh, we will be publishing uh, we will be posting vacancies over there uh, we also have a instagram page we also have a youtube channel wherein we are you guys are watching the videos so please do like share subscribe the channel page and everything so you will be getting information from all the sites thanks a lot guys thanks for watching take care